Hello YouTubers, subscribers and friends, welcome to my channel. I have a uh, video that I, I made earlier this morning. It's beautiful out right now. It's like, I don't know, 3.30 in the afternoon. I've been doing all kinds of stuff today. But today, uh, earlier this morning, I was working on my Ford Focus, 2012 Ford Focus. And um, my battery is dead on my camera. So I videotaped it with my phone, what I was doing this morning. You know, and I upload those videos to Instagram. I see got the truth, Arizona. If you uh, maybe caught it there, but I was talking to my wife after I was doing done doing that and doing some honey do list for my wife. She's like, you should just put that video up on YouTube, and uh, maybe somebody can uh, knows how to fix it or or knows more information can tell you about it. So I said, you know what? That's a good idea. So I'm going to do that, and. Um, like I said, it was filmed with my phone, so here's those videos, and uh, thanks for taking the time to watch the videos. Check it out. 50 degrees. I don't know if you can, the camera's picking it up, but there's frost all over the ground. It's a beautiful, sunshiny day. I gotta go uh, take my radio out of my car. It's making popping, static noises, and uh, even when you take the shut it off and take the key out, it's still making static noises. I've been researching about these Ford Focuses, Ford radios, garbage. Don't know what causes it, but nobody knows how to fix them. I'm going to take it out of my car. These here you have to pop out to get two screws. These two torque screws out from here, this will pop right out. Disconnect this little wire that goes right there in that little square, and it comes right out. Take these two torque screws out, pulls right the wire and the antenna and then the radio comes out you take out a Ford Focus radio garbage I took these screws out takes the top off then I pry this up disconnect the CD player right here this right here connects the radio to the CD and this is it this is all that's in the radio that's just the CD player there's nothing else on it this is the radio now I'm going to go take this to the car here and plug this into the car and see if this makes the radio work. Seeing if disconnected from the CD drive here will do anything. Just mess around with this radio because it doesn't work anyway. It just sits inside like that. And then this goes on top. This is the actually bottom of it. This is the top. This is what sticks out in the front of the car. I don't you play CD, so I don't need that. That's a 2012 Ford Focus radio. I connected this wire back to this because this is what turns on the uh, the radio right here. So you got to connect that. I connected the internal radios back to the the wire here, power source, and the antenna. Now I don't have the CD connected, and now let's turn the key on. Let's turn on. Let's push the radio on, see if it works. Hey, it works. Let's see if it pops now. I got it zip tied in here just to hold it because I want to put it all back together and take it for a test drive and find out if that's going to stop the popping noise, just disconnecting it from the CD player. This is just temporary, just so I can go drive and it's not flopping around in here anywhere. I'm going to hook everything back up. Put this back in. Take it for a test drive. Got it all put back together. Going to go for a test drive and hit some bumps and stuff and see what happens. That didn't fix it. You hear that staticky noise? I think when the radio gets hot, warms up because I've been driving, I don't know, about 10 minutes now. The radio works, but it's, it gets that static noise. See, I turned it off. It's still doing it. Hmm. I thought I fixed it, but I guess not. Garbage radios. I got in my car. I've come to the conclusion that these things, these heat things, because this right here got extremely hot, because when I grabbed this part right here to take it out, I almost burned my fingers because this corner was extremely hot, and it doesn't connect to anything. And then I could feel the heat coming off of this thing, and I touched it, and that was thermal nuclear hot 
and it's got that paste on it. It's hardly any paste. And there's a second one over here, and I touched that one, and that one was even hotter. See, that thermal paste is gone. I don't know what these are called, but I'm pretty sure this is the problem of the radio, that these things are getting way too hot, and it's shutting down the electrical. Because there's nothing burnt on this thing. I could go back out there and plug this back in. The radio will work fine again because these are no longer hot. So if anybody knows what these things are called and if it's worth buying these and replacing them, I don't know. I found this guy. He has nothing to do with uh, Ford Focuses. But he was taking apart a radio on a Chrysler car. And he explained that these are amplifiers. You got two in each radio. And I have two in mine like you saw earlier. And uh, once he told me what they're called, I was able to look them up on eBay. This one is $3.38. This is the large one right here. And coming from China. And then this one is the uh, smaller one. So I got two of them in there. And uh, I'm not a radio guy, like I said. I'm not an electrician guy. But after watching this guy uh, video how he's taking this radio part and he got it to fix and work, I'm wondering if it's even worth ordering those things from China. It'd probably take about three weeks to get those little pieces from China. I do have a soldering gun. Put it all back together. I can put it back in my car and it works perfectly. But after about 10 minutes of driving around, it will start doing the staticking and popping again. I'm really shocked that this is so heavy and the only thing in there that's the radio is just this board right here that's it I've never taken a radio before uh, taken it apart before uh, it's very interesting I never used a CD player so I don't even care if that works but um, like I said after watching this guy's video I guess he's just one of those nerds or techs or whatever you want to call them that tinkers with electronics if there's anybody out there who knows anything about radios or thinks that that is the problem 100%, let me know. Because then if it is, you know, I will order them. And then I will, I have a, like I said, I have a solder gun. I can take this apart again, um, heat up the solder and take that stuff out. Buy some new thermal paste, that white stuff that's on the... Anyways, this is the guy's uh, channel name here. Uh, John Audio Tech, if anybody wants to go watch that video. Um... But like I was saying earlier, you know, I don't know anything about radios or electronics, but if these things are really the cause, because like I said, 15 minutes later after it cools down, I could connect it right back to the the, uh, the car stereo uh, wiring, and the radio will play perfect again for a good 10 minutes, and then start staticking and popping again. And then if you take it out, disconnect it, these freaking... Uh, Audio amps, circuits, whatever you want to call them, the 700, the 7009 AR circuit little chip there. I don't know what the correct term is. He keeps calling them the audio amplifiers, chips. I don't know if that's the term for them, but if anybody out there comes across this video and, and thinks that if I do buy these and replace them, just resolder in some new ones. If they will work, let me know in the comments below. And uh, that's going to do it for me. Uh, like I said earlier, these Ford Focuses are garbage freaking radios. Not just Ford Focus, but in a lot of Ford. I saw Ford uh, trucks, Ford Tauruses, Ford Fiestas. I must have watched hours and hours. Right, babe? Right. Last night. Hours and hours of videos of just trying to find somebody who knows how to repair these. I, I found thousands of videos of people showing you how to take it out. I don't even know that. I just want to know if uh, I can buy those chips and resolder and put some new ones in and if that will fix the problem because I'm not going to go out and buy a new radio I, I, I got the app right here on my phone to the radio station I listen to I could just listen to the radio on my phone but you know I, I like learning new things and I learned a lot about this Ford radio and these uh, audio amplifier chips they're very cheap you know you, you, you can get one of these for like 139 bucks off of eBay but don't know if it's any good. It could be used and put it in and have the same freaking problems. I haven't found anybody on YouTube that shows you how to repair a, a Ford Focus radio or a Ford radio. Anyways, that's going to be my video for today. Thanks for taking time to watch my videos. Like always, remember to give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. 
if you scroll down to the bottom of the video there's a button there that says subscribe smash that subscribe button it don't cost you anything it's free like always thank you for taking the time to watch my videos that's not my subscriber count that's Timmy from Astro Auto Repairs I'm going yeah boy. Thank you.